all right guys ryan with rdm as per uh, request we're covering top ends so first things first um i want to talk about the people that are waiting on heads on top ends they're on the way i have everything coming from germany as far as the piaggio top ends and and because of that, I actually don't have any Piaggio cylinders to show anybody, just the heads. Uh, I do have, when you did, I have this Minarelli top end that we can uh, do demonstrations with. So uh, maybe another week or so, and the there's a few people waiting on Piaggio top ends. They'll be shipped out. And yeah, so okay. Moving on. We have the head, we have the cylinder, the gasket kit, the piston, and the uh, the clips. That's what comes with the top end. The Piaggio ones, the piston and the clips and all that, and the rings, they come in a nice little orange box. The stud kit, I believe, is sold separately, and lately I started including, for a lot of people, this uh, stud drilling kit. And making it so people drill their own studs in their own top end. Now it would be, you know, I put the holes in the head, and it would be maybe convenient for me to put the holes in the cylinder for people. But actually, including this is more value than it would be for me in, to drill the holes. In addition, with this, you can do it yourself. And the real value is, in the future, you can buy any number of cylinders and put your own uh, little pinholes in. This is a drill fixture, and it's quite universal. It can be used, that's why the holes are actually um, oval, so it can fit Minarelli and Piaggio, and probably others as well. Uh, we'll get into why that's important and why that, that's helpful. Um, maybe we'll get into that right now. So, with this Piaggio, as I covered in the other Piaggio video, normally the head would go inside the bore and locate using this, I call it a boss. It would slip into the cylinder and keep it nice and centered. And you want the head nice and centered because the squish, everything, you want it just right. You don't want it crooked to one side or the other. Which unfortunately is possible in our new arrangement where the piston goes about flush with the deck and then all of a sudden you can have it so the pistons all the way over here over here and in some cases even colliding with this metal here and you'll have dents in your head and a dent in the piston which could effectively close up the ring gap and you you can trap a ring that's something you really want to avoid so for many reasons we want the head perfectly centered with the, whatever cylinder it happens to be bolted onto Now to do that, we have these little short holes drilled. And as you can see in here, these, those are slotted pins. And that little slot in the pin allows it to be uh, crushed in to a smaller pin size, fit in the hole nice and easy. And because it holds tension, it's like a spring-loaded pin, it really keeps everything firm and super precise uh, that's the correct size drill bit and what you do is you bolt this plate either onto the head or onto the cylinder either this way or this way these notches are just here to indicate the center line so if you have something to indicate the center line on your head front and back you can help use this and that'll make it so when you put the head on it's uh Everything is all straight and you don't want to have your pin, your head pinned and then it turns out it's like that. You know, you have a diagonal cylinder. So you can use these little notches. In addition, the whole point of this after all is to center everything. So for many of the builds, there's this lip, which I think is a 47 millimeter. And if applicable on, on the head on the Piaggio and in the bore of the Piaggio, 
you can use that lip to perfectly, perfectly center this. But otherwise, you can just use this side, which is featureless, and simply bolt it on. And use visual cues, you know, you can, you can see in here to make sure that it is in, in fact centered. And you can use, you know, two studs, you can use four studs, nuts and all, and you wanna basically bolt this in place, not too tight, and use the drill bit and just go in about half the length of one of those pins. Not very deep at all, very, very shallow holes. There's not really any problem with going deeper, but there's no need to. And remember, you're only doing it to the cylinder, so it's not a huge job. However, if you are using somebody else's head, feel free to use this system to secure their head in a nice centered way. And, and uh, so that's that, that's the pinholes. Um, I noticed that on a lot of my heads, the pins are very hard to install. So you take a little uh, chamfer tool, you can modify a drill bit, you can buy these. You can use even a pocket knife tip and just spin the pocket knife in here. But you know, if you put a nice little chamfer on these holes, it makes installing the pins a lot, a lot easier. This little red ring in here is the exact ring that would be used with the stock Piaggio head. I replicated this groove exactly. Very close tolerance when it's replicated into this head. Therefore, we use the stock base gasket and the stock ring. That's included with these kits. Now, this gap here is critical. I would run it anywhere from point, maybe if you're extreme, 0.6 millimeter, up to maybe as, as 1.8, almost two millimeter. And you can use these gaskets. You, you need to get the stage six Piaggio, unfortunately, because the stage six Piaggio has actually extra large ports and a lot of the other gaskets just barely seal this rim. Because yeah, we use a very extreme top end. So I, I recommend getting the actual stage six ones. And these come in, in this kit, there's all different thicknesses and you can stack them. And you can use that to help uh, control the gap between, you know, the piston at top dead center and the gap here. And there's a lot of videos online and people showing how to measure that gap. Uh, some people use like a piece of um, a zip tie they put in here and they know the thickness of the zip tie. And if it touches and they feel that it puts some tension, then it's that size. Or people use uh, putty, people use um, solder wire, and you turn the engine over and it crushes the right gap and then you can measure it. A lot of different methods for that. Um, another way to do it uh, is just have the head off. You put nuts on here to bolt the cylinder down to crush the base gaskets. You know, you wanna crush these gaskets to replicate having a head on there. That's why you wanna use nuts to hold the cylinder down. And then you turn the engine over and you see where the piston goes. And let's say it goes perfectly flush with the top here. And then you notice this head goes in. Well, whatever that gap is there, that's your squish. If, for example, the piston went perfectly flush with the top here. So that's like one way to determine it is just dry fit everything basically without the head on and then take measurements. And and then usually you can go and double check later and, and you will hit your numbers. Now you, you can't really go tighter than 0.6 because at like 16,000 RPM, even 13,000, everything, the rod will stretch, the crank will bend, the bearings will get squished. And essentially, that 0.6 might close up to almost zero. So if you go there, then all of a sudden you have a negative number at high RPM and your piston's colliding into this head and it will actually bend this top lip of the piston over and crush the piston ring. Then you'll lose power. Might be able to make it home, but you'll have to buy a new piston and recalibrate your setup and learn your lesson. Um, Real quickly, I'll go over these heads too. These heads don't use the O-ring and 
These ones are good for the Minarelli because they have the reed clearance. And what's great for these like stage six and MXS builds, they are offered in a head that drops in a little bit, or at least, you know, when you use a, a gasket, it doesn't, you know, so it's a means of tuning basically by having that head drop in that tiny bit. And this one, there's no O-ring, so use whatever gasket. There's scooter gaskets that are higher quality. Here's just an example using a China one. And we have the heads in two different options, like that. And you can see there, I guess I'm calling that a minus one. And we're talking about that's minus one millimeter into the bore. And then there's this guy, which is just flush and, yeah, I'm calling that a plus zero. Let me see, it has the CC on there, it's approximate. And these are great for, like I said, Minarelli, they also fit China. You can see there's a, a factory engine gasket, you can see, lines up perfectly. These are nice affordable billet heads made in the USA, like all my product. When you're installing the top one, we got a lot to talk about with these pistons. Now this is my own little personal build style, but I'll, I'll go over that. Let me go get you actually some sandpaper to show you. All right, so with these pistons, there's a lot of prep you can do. Basically, these are raw from the manufacturer and all these sharp edges and all. That would cost them more money for them to blend these and get rid of them. That doesn't mean it should be sharp just because it comes sharp. And then again, this is my personal opinion. You don't need to do this, but I like to break all those sharp edges, especially on the bottom of these lips. And my thoughts is by breaking these sharp edges here, it allows more oil to stay on the skirt instead of getting scraped off the skirt. Um, also, a lot of people, they take even coarser sandpaper than this and they'll give it a nice crisscross pattern across the skirt. You know, and of course, you're gonna clean it all. You're not really trying to remove material, but you're trying to give it some lines to hold oil and all. Um, I'll take extra fine, fine sandpaper and I'll just go over these ring grooves just once or twice, just to make sure there's no sharp edges in there. That that'll make little metal dust later or anything. And I don't really touch the top. And even these corners, I might even round these corners a little bit. And here around these for flow, blend these a little bit. And just in this inside too, just blend this all just a little bit. That's my personal flavor, I recommend doing that. Let me know in the comments what you like to do and if, any thoughts about what I just said there. But yeah, feel free to do some piston prep. Of course, clean it really well, like crazy good. Dawn dish soap, alcohol, all, you know, there's no such thing as cleaning it too much. And that's that. Clean the rings too. I don't really do much ring prep at all. I noticed these scooter kits, they come with their own ring prep. And by that, I mean like how these ends are prepared. They already put little chamfers. See that there? You can see that little shiny reflection on the end facing you. That means that they already put a little chamfer on the end of this ring. Yeah, it's hard to get a focus on that. So yeah, this ring's already been prepped. I wouldn't mess with this ring. I call it, it's a, I don't know if you can see a DT ring. But yeah, if this was a, a cheap piston, you might want to do some ring prep on it and like I said, break these sharp edges right on these corners here so you don't score your cylinder. But this one's done professionally. I wouldn't touch it. Let me know in the comments if you would touch it. All right, guys, that's top ends. And uh, yeah.